the third round, all of us judges came together. And then that was just crazy because once you start speaking to other people and you see their points and then you think, oh, yeah, that's a good point. And then you kind of swayed that way, but then they're swayed your way. So it was literally hours of deliberation. And with some of them, it could have gone either way while we were going through those. They were just so, so close. Harrier Park, that was just an amazing project. And the attention to detail in that was phenomenal. Obviously, when you enter these awards, you don't get much space to put detail into it, but they'd attached a PDF where they'd literally put down that they'd use so many thousands of parts on this sign. And as I said about Cameron, he's an expert when it comes to doing this sort of steel work, and he was blown away by it. He couldn't believe how well they'd executed it. But it also meets the brief perfectly. It makes a statement. There's, there's no better marker, is there, to say you've arrived somewhere than, than that sign. It's part of what's so exciting about what we're doing at the moment. The distress look has been in for a while now, but this is kind of taking it to whole new levels with the Harrier Park, because obviously you have got those stone blocks, you've got the rusted steel, but then you've got that pristine white lettering with the contrast on it. We were really, really torn. We went back and forth about a million times as to which one we thought should win. Beaver Town, because all of those colours were matched from looking at a, a can of beer. I've walked past that site. I know how hard that is. The brickwork is all over the place. The mortar's got bits missing. It crumbles. And again, it was all freehand drawn. There was no templates. There was no pouncing. This was drawn by hand. Sea Shack, that is just wow. It's traditional in a completely different sense. The only letters in that that were cut by machine were the acrylic ones, which is the a bar and restaurant. The rest was all sort of done by hand. And then he's using that rusty paint, which I'm a big fan of that rusty paint. I love that. But then again, the details for the barnacles and things like that. So we had to beg Dan to let us have two firsts for that, because otherwise we'd still be discussing it now and the awards would never have happened. With Greens, it was their passion. It's just everything they do shows their passion for the trade. And they, you can tell they really, really love this industry. They couldn't possibly be in any other industry. and. That was really important because that's something that sort of flows through to the staff and to everything they're doing, which is probably why they're putting in more effort to sustainability. So, we, yeah, we were blown away with that. And we think that that's going to make for some really good sign makers in the future. The one for under 30s, I mean, Goodwin and Goodwin, it had to be them. They're making signs cool. So I think there's probably a lot of people out there who aren't sad like me and don't see signs for being as, as cool as they are. But they are making them cool to the general public. And I reckon they've probably made a lot of people think, hey, I want to go into that industry. Dylan, we like the fact that he was very hands on, that he seemed to be trying everything and just seeing his progression. There was like a clear timeline in that entry for what his like his progression was like. For me, especially when I've had other apprentices come into the trade to see someone else do that and so passionately was phenomenal. I was disappointed that there weren't more entries on this. And I, I kind of feel like, all these companies out there have a duty really to do this and to, to get their apprentices and their youngsters to try as many different skills as they can so that they're not just stuck doing one job. Because if you're just doing the same thing day in, day out, you're probably going to get bored and leave the industry. Whereas if we keep them in there, move them from department to department, build on their strengths, build on their overall knowledge of what they're doing, then we're going to have some phenomenal sign writers in the future. But all those who are entering the wards in the future, and literally every sign company should, you need to make it as easy as you can for judges. So you only have sort of three or 400 words in the, the application form that you've given for it. So as part of your evidence, submit a PDF document, outline on there all the things that you've done, include more photos, show photos of you making it. Because one of the things that was really important to us was that the companies who are entering these had actually made it. We don't want to be just awarding for people who've ordered in from somewhere. We want to see the whole package. But there are a few people who did submit the, the PDF documents where they, they showed all the processes. They included what the client brief was. And it just gave them more space to do that and to really sort of help us to understand everything involved in it. So take the time and effort and it will you'll definitely, definitely pay off.